Pedo here, Team Bad Yugi's. I'm bringing you another Troop Dupe Scoop format uh, deck profile. And what I'm showing you now is, um, I was looking through the list of um, decks that had topped that format, and this got first at some sort of YCS, and I'm like, I have to build this. There's no way, nothing can stop me from building this. Because, like, gadgets in 2007, this is like the M. Cole 40, like, icon right here. I gotta build this. But yeah, we have triple the gadgets, we have two drill roids, we have triple Cyber Dragon, and then triple Snipe Hunter, and then triple Banisher of the Radiance. Because they would always be loading up their graveyard for their combo pieces, you know, heroes and monarchs and stuff, but you would just be turning off all of that with Banisher. And you have enough protection, you can usually keep this guy alive. And he has just enough attack in this format to be good. Like, just enough. A.K.A. higher than 15. And then for the spells, we have the Future Fusion, and we have the Overload Fusion. That way you can, you know, search for a gadget, add Overload Fusion to hand, reveal the gadget you searched for you already had in your hand, and continue to win off. And then we have Heavy Storm, an MST, an Avarice, a Knock, a Snatch, a Prima, and then we have Triple Econ for the protection, the combo, the taken, you know, just one more damage of turn. But it also works as it turns our monster to defense, which is so important. Then we have Triple Smashing Ground, and then we have Triple Fissure, and then we have Triple Shrink. Oh yes. This deck really is a thing of beauty. It's kind of, in my opinion, like this deck is hilarious that it exists, but it's actually just good enough to be like amazing. You have one limiter for the kill pushes, and the only traps, triple decree. Yup. You'd be playing three traps in a four trap format <laughs> just to turn off those four potential cards. But I mean, hey, this is what this is what they played, and I'm like, I'm just gonna rebuild this exact deck because I think this deck is hilarious, and also like. The theory behind it is so sick, because like you normal summon a gadget, you add the next gadget to your hand, and then that gadget will die. Next turn, you normal summon this gadget, add that gadget to hand, and look what you drew. You drew a fissure, so you'll fissure off their monster. And like, it basically keeps on going in the chain of where you're drawing into all of these spot removal cards for the cards that removed yours. And the game still wasn't really fast enough that they would do, you know, multiple summons in one turn, really. I mean, they would sometimes, but not always. And you would just have to rely on your other cards for protection for it. That's why I think this deck is so cool. It's really kind of fun to mess around with. But hey, this is a Fushido of Team Bad Yugi's, signing out.